Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is having a fabulous week so far. I am back right now to putting out a lot of videos. However, next week when our furniture and the pot arrives and all of that, then things are going to slow down again for just a little while while I get things under control. So today I want to discuss the Royal Kids, and there's a very big reason for that. So just Hang on with me, let's jump in, let's get there, shall we? Let's go. So what took me down this road this morning were these articles coming out saying that Kate Middleton's doctor gave some new details about the birth of George. Sir Marcus Seychelles, I hope I'm saying that right, he's 79, he was one of the three gynecologists who helped deliver um, George in the Lido wing of St. Mary's Hospital. And um, well, of course we all know because Catherine and William stood outside with the baby and had the obligatory photos taken. Now, I do have to admit that this is kind of a clickbait article because this is what he says. This is the new information that was revealed. He says, I think what I tried to do, and I'm quoting, at Prince George's birth was to keep reminding myself that this is just another baby with parents who are likely to be having all the same emotions and pains and discomforts as all the other people I look after. There you go. <laughs> That's the new information. Now, this guy apparently delayed his retirement because he wanted to oversee Catherine's pregnancy, and now he's been replaced as a different uh, physician to the royal family. So all of this information is coming out. You had to know something else was gonna follow behind it. And sure enough, this article came out saying that Harry and Meghan are blasted for playing strange game of cat and mouse over Archie's birth, which they have. And that got me thinking about all the issues that came up with the birth. So I did do some videos in the past about some weird stuff that was going on. So I'm going to show you guys just a few snippets to catch you up before we jump into what is happening. So let me refresh your memory. First off, an announcement went out that Megan was in labor at 2 p.m., but this was several hours after the baby was born at 5.26 a.m. Everybody thought that was a little odd. Secondly, the announcement for all royal babies born is put on a easel in front of the palace. And as you can see in the photos, Kate's was signed with all three of her children by all the doctors that were present. Archie's announcement is unsigned. Could it be that the doctors who delivered the baby refused to certify who the mother was because the baby was born to somebody else? Thirdly, the wording on the documents is very odd. If you notice where Kate had her baby, it gave the names of the doctors that were present at the birth and it calls George, and I'm quoting, her child. As you can see from Megan, it simply calls Archie the baby. There's also the fact that what you see on your screen was supposedly posted by Kensington Palace and then removed. It's, it's all very odd. So here's another perspective. Here is what Megan looks like next to a couple of the prosthetics that they sell. There's different kinds, there's different styles, the ones that strap around the back almost look like what you see in this next picture. But the really interesting thing is the photos that came out in the purple dress. Because at first she has a belly, then she doesn't. Then there appears to be something down around her knees as she's rushing to the car. So it almost seems like she was wearing a prosthetic and it fell to her knees. So in doing research for this particular video, the one thing that sticks out to me is that when pregnant women walk, their bellies do not wobble all over the place. I myself have had two children. My belly did not move that way. So just to show what I was trying to say when I say wobble, I wanted to show you this short video, and this is a very pregnant person. She is actually pregnant, working out. Please pay attention to the movement of her belly. Knees in place, step knees. Great job. Keep lifting those knees. 
challenge yourself if you can. Now here's a video of Megan walking and she's about as pregnant as the woman that was working out. Please pay attention to her stomach and the way it's swaying side to side. Now let's look at the one thing that cannot be changed and those are the surrogacy laws in the UK. So as of February of this year, they are working on changing those laws, but the changes won't be presented to Parliament until 2021. So for now, the rules state that whoever gave birth, whether they're biologically related to the child or not, is considered the mother and their spouse or partner, even if they're not biologically related, is considered the father. Legal parenthood, however, can be passed over either by adoption or parental order. So the interesting thing is that parental orders cannot be applied for until after the child is born and the order requires the surrogate's consent, but the law prohibits seeking it less than six weeks after birth. You often have to wait months or more to get into court. And for the court to issue a parental order, the child must be in residence with the intended parents. Do I think it's possible that Harry, being a prince of the UK, could probably get around that with the courts? Yes, I do. I believe it's entirely plausible that as soon as the baby was born, Meghan and Harry took custody of the child and then went straight to a court and had the appropriate paperwork done. This could be why Harry did not want the birth certificate released, and it took 11 days for that. That's how long it would have taken to have everything completed by the courts. Now, not too long after that video, I did another video where we touched on the surrogacy issues and the birth certificate. Listen to this. We all know, and it's been all in the news, that Meghan Markle changed um, Archie's birth certificate one month after he was born. And the news, of course, is reporting this as a snub to other members of the royal family. Now, it was also reported that this might have been done this way because that's how Princess Diana's was done. And she just emulates Diana, Megan does. And Megan wants to be just like her. And that's why the birth certificate was changed. So it would appear that two changes were made to the birth certificate. One, they inserted the word prince for Harry because they left that off accidentally. And the second change was that Megan had her legal name, Rachel Megan, removed. And it simply says the Duchess of Sussex. So this story literally took on a life of its own um, and it just went out of control. So finally, Megan and Harry issued a statement by none other than Omid Scobie. And for those who haven't seen the statement, what it says is the change of name on public documents in 2019 was dictated by the palace as confirmed by documents from senior palace officials. He stated this was not requested by Meghan or Harry. And then it went on to talk about the tabloids and this is clickbait and people keep your eye on the prize. And it's because of Omid's statement that things have really gotten interesting. Those changes were not dictated on any of the three of the Cambridge children's birth certificates. Absolutely no documentation was shown to anybody to prove that what Omid was saying was correct. If senior palace officials actually ordered that change, then he should have proven it with the documentation he supposedly had. And of course, we now know by looking at the actual information online that only parents can apply to change their child's birth certificate under UK law. So once again, we have shown that Harry and Meghan are lying, that Omid Scobie is being a mouthpiece, that he's lying for them. I mean, like he hasn't been in enough trouble with the court. He's just going to keep going. And to top it all off, you have to ask yourself, why in the hell the palace would care if Rachel Megan's name was on her child's birth certificate? And per Twitter, the palace is apparently very bewildered by this whole thing. Supposedly, Megan ordered her staff to make that change so that it would match her passport. So did anybody else catch the fact that you can apply to become the legal parent of this child, if it was born of a surrogate, the child must live with you, which I believe Archie was living with Harry and Meghan. And it's done about six weeks out 
But do I think that Harry could have done it a month out? Yes, I do. I most certainly do. Um, I do not believe that Buckingham Palace gave two craps what was on that birth certificate. We all know how Meghan loves the name Duchess of Sussex, Duchess of Sussex. She calls herself the Duchess of Sussex. I believe she ordered the change. And the law in the UK says that only the parents can order the change. So this is Buckingham Palace coming out now saying we're not going to put up with these lies and we're going to defend ourselves, which they should have. And of course, we also know now as well that every picture they put up of Archie is photoshopped. There was a picture of him in the chicken coop. His hand was backwards. I showed that to you in another video. There's the Christmas card picture of them where they color corrected Archie's hair to be the exact same color as... Uh, Harry's and now we know he's got brown hair from other photos that have been put up this is why everybody is like had it with these two I, I, they play these cat and mouse games we really don't know who gave birth to that child personally I don't think that that child should have been allowed on the line of succession until somebody was able to definitively prove that Megan gave birth to this kid because we've all heard um, Harry's birth story. She went to Portland Hospital. She had an epidural. She was eating. She had a water birth. And within two hours, they were back at Frogmore. That's not possible. As I'm telling you as a nurse, that is not possible. That's a lie. And of course, we also know that Megan says her doctor insisted they give birth at Portland. That's not true. She said that the, first she said the palace never asked for the photo out front. Then she said it wasn't possible to do. We know it is because Fergie did hers. The truth is she couldn't stand out front with the baby because she didn't give birth to the baby. Exactly. All right, you guys, you know what I want. Make those comments below. Make them good. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads. If you've already hit that button, double check, make sure you're still subscribed. Don't forget to go up into the description box and get the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon. There's a physical address in case you want to send something. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund and through the thanks button, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.